Good morning, everybody. I am, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still on the West Coast. I'm getting ready to get on a plane in just a few minutes. Well, actually, to get in the taxi to get to the airport to get on a plane. <clears throat> so this morning, I wanted to ask the question, are you really cancer free? And how do you know if you're cancer free? Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> So that's the big question. I know traditional medicine may send women away. I don't know why I'm losing my voice all of a sudden. Traditional medicine may send women away and tell them they are cancer-free because they don't see anything on their scans, their traditional blood works are, are, are okay, and they send them on their merry way and they tell them, go live your life, you're fine, you're cancer-free. But unfortunately, many of those wake up two years, five years, 10 years later with cancer again. Perhaps it has metastasized. And so the point of this is to really understand what it means to be cancer-free. And do you ever get to that point where you are cancer-free? <clears throat> Sorry about that. There we go. To understand really if you're cancer free, you have to keep a pulse on your health by consistently doing um, scans, you know, making sure you're getting ultrasounds, perhaps even MRIs if you've had uh, metastasis before, PET scans, and um, uh, thermography, uh, mammograms if that's what you do, you know, make sure that you stay on top of that physically, but then there are also various blood tests that you can use to see if there's the presence of cancer DNA in the blood and or some circulating tumor cells. Now there's several tests that you can um, do to find out if there is still some residual cancer in your body. So one of the tests that I recommend is called IV gene. So I-V-Y-G-E-N-E. -E. And you can find all this information on my website, breastcancerconqueror.com. Um, if you just plug in in the blog, you'll see the information on IV gene. So IV gene will tell you if there's free cancer, methylation, DNA in the blood. And so that's an indication that there may still be some cancer and that you have to stay on top of your health. Another test that you can use is called the RGCC test or the GREASE test. Um, that's an indication. It'll tell you if there's some circulating uh, breast cancer stem cells. It will also indicate what nutrients, what supplements you can take to help kill those breast cancer stem cells. Cancer can be managed. I really believe, one of my beliefs is that cancer is in a sense like diabetes, right? If you manage diabetes by watching your diet, your lifestyle, your exercise, you stay away from sugar, then the diabetes will not manifest itself and you can keep your sugar and your insulin resistance in check. Same thing with cancer. Once you've been diagnosed with cancer, you have to keep a pulse on your health and maintain um, that, that health by you know, staying on top of things, following the seven essential system, you know, watching your food, detoxifying, continue to do your coffee enemas, make sure you're taking supplements that will destroy breast cancer stem cells. And that's perhaps another um, live that I can talk about. How do you destroy breast cancer stem cells or how do you keep them at bay? Because breast cancer stem cells are at the root of metastasis and recurrence. Now what uh, increases the risk for metastasis and recurrence and what increases breast cancer stem cells? Interestingly enough, uh, traditional medicine, if you've done chemotherapy, and this is not to make you feel guilty or make you worried about doing traditional medicine, but if you've done traditional medicine, chemotherapy will get rid of the bulk of the tumor. However, it can create some resistant breast cancer stem cells. Um, radiation does the same thing. It, it'll create resistant breast cancer stem cells. So the good news is that there are a lot of things that you can do to reduce the breast cancer stem cells in the body. Um, things as simple as uh, concentrated uh, blueberry extract, uh, broccoli sprouts, curcumin, ginger, you know, all these things can keep uh, breast cancer stem cells at bay. So if your doctor has told you you are cancer free, I encourage you to take that lightly and to investigate and 
uh, really look at what needs to be done to be able to keep a pulse on your health and make sure that you can keep the cancer at bay for the rest of your life and you can enjoy a vibrantly healthy life. So here's a question from uh, Natasha. Does your book offer advice on how to deal with get rid of breast cysts in the breast as well as how to deal with congested lymphatic system? Uh, yes. Um, Yes, Natasha, the book deals with all kinds of issues, whether you're recovering from breast cancer, on a healing journey, or you want to prevent breast cancer. So yes, uh, Heal Breast Cancer Naturally is the name of the book. It's on Amazon. Make sure you get the second edition, not the first edition, because the second edition is updated. Um, it's much prettier cover than the first one. It does not have a butterfly on it. So just uh, want to say good morning, and I'm getting ready to get on a plane, so I want to share that thought with you. If you have any questions, make sure you check out my book, Heal Breast Cancer Naturally. Go to the website, breastcancerconquer.com, to check out the blogs. There's an amazing amount of information. There's seven years of blogs on there, people, so uh, a library of information for anything you want to know about preventing and healing breast cancer naturally. This is Dr. V sending you a big healing heart hug. Love you. Bye-bye. I'll talk to you tomorrow.